Hey folks, Pixel Pedant here, and today I'm going to take a look at the TI-99 Wicko trackball here, asking the question, why does this thing exist? Also, is there actually any reason to use it? Finally, if so, where? Not to give too much away, but there are certainly areas where this product shines. In games with per-pixel two-dimensional control over a large field of play, a trackball can certainly feel right at home. On the other hand, platformers and grid-based action games are done no favors at all by a controller which makes hitting cardinal directions reliably, consistently, and with the right timing difficult. So what are some examples of games someone might use the Wicko trackball with, and which ones might you try if you have a Wicko trackball of your own? Okay, let's take a look at a game I was quite fond of in my childhood, which is Barrage, a Missile Command clone. So, satisfying very nicely the criterion of our having per pixel control on two axes. So what you can see is that rolling the ball in a direction does give me a nice squiggly diagonal so I can make a nice path across the screen. It get, gets me where I want to go more efficiently than if I were just using eight directional control. It still is just a squiggle in the cardinal directions, but intermittently, so that I get that diagonal. And the control feels good, so barrage is for me a win. It's also nice to have that momentum that sends you flying across the screen when you send the ball flying. Next game I'm going to look at is Black Hole, which is one I was fond of as a kid. Now here, likewise, two dimensional control over a field of play where we have per pixel positioning. So satisfies all the basic criteria. Downside is this is a two player game by design, so we are not getting the two player experience. As this is a one-player controller, there is no joystick too. Still, control of the ship is pretty good. Issue is just getting pointed in the right direction, it seems to me. But otherwise, it's somewhat neat. So I'll put this in the neat, not exactly practical category. What about horizontally scrolly games? Do any of those work all right? Well, let's give a shot at Breakthrough. So, two directions are wasted here, but do the others work well enough? And I think they do. I think it's a fun way to control it. Probably not the most efficient, but I want more a controller that's fun to use than a controller that wins me the game. I'm never going to win a game like this. I'm just here to have fun. And yeah, I think it plays Breakthrough just fine. In particular, the inertia you get by sliding is kind of fun to work with. Because that ball will roll quite a ways. It's pretty heavy. Roll all the way across the screen. So that's a fun dynamic to have in play. So I think Breakthrough is a win. But what review of the best in TI-99 gaming would be complete without John Phillips' Star Trap, a.k.a. Star Wars? How does it play with the trackball? Well, kind of okay. I mean, to be clear, this is not a good game. 
but if you've got to play it, you might as well have a controller that's kind of fun to use, since the game itself is not going to entertain you too well. Control is a bit slow. But it sort of works. Yeah, I think using a bad controller actually makes this game more interesting. Makes it less obvious that the game itself is utterly failing to entertain me. So, Star Wars slash Star Trap is a pass. Continuing on with the spaceships theme, let's jet off to space as Buck Rogers and see if we can't get the control we need here. Now the trackball feels like a pretty natural controller in this case, sweeping back and forth across the landscape. I definitely feel the aesthetic appeal there. It's a bit unnatural because up and down and left and right do fairly fundamentally different things here. And so we're not controlling in two dimensions so much as we're controlling two different factors, elevation and left-right position, using up and down and left and right respectively. Still, despite that fact, and despite it's not making a lot of sense, it's kind of fun. So, yeah, this one falls into the fun, but not exactly practical category for me. Another game in which you have two-dimensional control of a spaceship on a broad field of play is Protector. So, let's see what we think of that. And what we'll find is that I'm just pranking myself here, because Protector 2 is a Joystick 2 game. And this is Joystick 1. So I am unable to control the game. This is likewise true for Star Trek Strategic Operation Simulator, sadly. So no controlling starships with your trackball. Joystick 2 games are unfortunately off limits. So a significant caveat there. Another game that controls simultaneously in two directions is Moonmine. So, let's see how that controls. Well, because again here we're controlling essentially two different things with up and down and left and right respectively, I do not find the control as natural does not exactly make sense to have them tied together in the way you do on the trackball. So you kind of have to work around it rather than benefiting from it. So I will say this is a no. Finally, let's take a look at Centipede. Since that definitely has fine control over a relatively large field of play. I'm terrible at centipede, by the way, so uh, this should not be taken as a demonstration of how well you can play centipede with this controller. Not a game I ever picked up on any platform. Control's okay. I feel like I sometimes want finer control than the trackball furnishes, though. So again, here, it could be fun to use, but I don't think it's optimal. But fun's where it's at oftentimes, so if you like it here, by all means.
So yeah, it's a pass. So that is the DI-99 Wicco trackball, and those are a few examples of the sorts of games that tend to control well with the trackball on the TI-99. You may have other applications you enjoy with the trackball, and in particular creativity applications, art applications may be especially suitable to trackball control, but in my case, it's games like these that I find to be just a little more fun when I play them with the trackball.